Hello. In this video, I'd like to explain the difference between define and require, two very fundamental and powerful statements that can improve the foundation for good web performance. The two statements are part of the namespace sap.ui. The UI5 loader uses the statements to load resources asynchronously, so your app loads and responds much faster than with synchronous loading. We have a separate video on asynchronous loading, so I won't go into details here. The main difference between the statements is that define is used to define a module, such as controllers, whereas require is used to load only other modules. Now let's take a look at an example in my prepared master detail standalone app created from the master detail template in SAP Web IDE. What do you think we'll find in the app.controller.js file? If your answer is the define statement, you're absolutely right. You can see it at the very top of the file. This position is important because you want to define the module and load the module dependencies in the brackets after the statements as early as possible. This will ensure that the code returns the specified values when they are called in the following code. The require statement is located in the index.html file. It is not in the topmost position because the require statement is much more focused on a certain purpose than the define statement. It loads modules as dependencies required for the app, but does not define a module. However, the define statement is not a prerequisite for the require statement. Both statements can be used independently as described in the specification called AMD, which stands for Asynchronous Module Definition. You can find a link to further information in the info box below. To illustrate the situation, I enhanced my app with a very basic additional HTML file called defineRequire.html and a very basic controller called SumModule.js. The SumModule.js contains the defined statement at the top of the page, as it is recommended. This allows the app to function, meaning that the SumModule.js is executed and the alert message hello appears. If I now exchange the defined statement with the require statement, I can see in the network trace that yes, the SumModule.js is loaded, but I get an error in the console and the alert message hello is not appearing either. The reason is that require does not define a module, so when requiring some module, the UI5 loader knows what file to load, but can't find a module in it. This means a consumer won't be able to access the some module class. So here you have the difference between define and require. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.